I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Well, we know what to do now. Let's not alert the walkers. I think we can... I see now. I didn't realize I could do that last time. Okay. Now I have more time. No way I could pick that up on my own. What's going on here? Guess we're going in. People. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. Huh. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? I wasn't. As bad as here. I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. And I don't want to die today. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer. Or I'll shoot. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Shut Nobody the hell up, bitch. Just take it easy. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their life. That's quite place. unfortunate. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A board? 
Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? Few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just I'm an honest guy, you know. Get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? You need to shut the fuck up, bitch. Look, sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with I am such a nice guy. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. He's the fossil. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. Yeah, pretty much. I think you have something that belongs to me. All right, your pickaxe. You're a bitch, but I like you. She's like one of my favorite characters now. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have to leave him. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Hmm. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Like finding Clementine. Clementine. Clementine? Why the fuck is Clementine not in here? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Nope, not in here. Clementine? Hmm. Bet she's like not in the house. She's probably with that one guy that's like got her attention, man. Hey, that's a chair. But wants to be explored. I'll have time to rest later. Nope, no, she's not, because I have the radio, so. Clementine, you hear? Clem? He's not in it. she's not in any of these rooms. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. 
You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Fair Clementine? Enough. Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? How do you get downstairs then? Pretty intense music if you think about it. Let's look out the window. Don't see her out there. And because let's go look in the attic. Clementine, you up there? Shit. Where could she be? Clem? Clementine? Let's go in here. Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. <laughs> Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? He's drunk. Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since... What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey, man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was gonna rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was gonna listen to me? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! You need to shut up. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Don't you fucking drink. Uh, uh, uh. Have either of you seen Clementine? Fuck you. Damn if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kinda crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Clementine? Clementine! Someone kidnapped her. Doors covered in mud. Don't think anyone came in through there. This is intense. She's not that stupid, is she? What? What the hell? Hey, girl. Come look. Look what I found. I 
a boat. A fucking boat. Why didn't it break? Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. Okay, so he's not dead. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Fair enough. Well, you want the good news or the bad news? The bad news. Bad news out of the way first. Bad news is she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. <laughs> Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Oh. Now hold on. Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies. Ah, she agrees. I don't like her. Ask. Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We're armed and we've got the numbers. I say we just go in there and take what we need by force. <laughs> okay, that is literally the dumbest idea I have ever heard. Crawford's like a goddamn military base. They've got hundreds of people in there armed to the teeth. And not perimeters guarded day and night. You're gonna have to be smarter than that. Oh, maybe we can be. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay, that's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. Probably. What do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. Yeah, we do. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? How do we even know where they store their supplies? I used to watch them from one of the bell towers just outside the perimeter. I've seen them carrying all kinds of stuff into that old Catholic school off the town square. I think they're using it as some kind of supply depot. There's a good chance we'll find what we need in there. That's good. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Oh. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. Uh, you're not going. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, 
it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get I'm to honest with Clementine because she is Clementine, and you must be honest to Clementine. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I. No one else is gonna die. I promise. You can't promise that. I know. No, I guess I can't. Sorry. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this. And you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Uh. Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. God damn it. Shut up. Can't I come with you? No. I'm sorry. She has to. Clementine, come on, stop it! Oh, no! Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? Uh, okay. I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them... <laughs> is no. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, it's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, you're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Oh. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Okay. Hold up just a sec. You understand why you have to stay behind, don't you? I guess. Plus you have a job to do. An important job. I need you to stay here and watch over the house. Watch over Omi. What should I do if something happens while you're gone? Here, I want you to take this. Oh, I might be you fucked because I need that. It. It's just like I showed you. I remember. So if anyone tries to get inside the house that isn't one of us, or if something does happen to Omi, I know what to do. Let's get you inside. Let's get this over with. Huh. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We go in, hunt, <laughs> hit them by surprise, grab what we need and get the hell out. We need to do this fast, so everybody stay sharp, stay alert, and stay close together. Got it? Yeah. Uh, I gotta leave off a cliffhanger here. Um, so next time, we're gonna actually do something here. So, thank you guys for watching. I've been Discraft, and I'll see you guys next time.